In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a list of non-consecutive numbers using Power Query. It's extremely useful if you want to create, for example, list of non-consecutive dates, or if you want to create a ledger for a finance and you don't have, you know, the serial numbers for all the accounts. Very, very useful. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so let's pretend that you know nothing about lists and we're going to create a new list here. New list. So to create lists in Power Query, you use curly brackets. So these things. And then you put the start number and then you put the end number. So you put, I don't know, 101 to 105. It will go one by one. You see there. And then if you want to add another number, let's say 120, you can just add it. And let's say that now you want to add a new set of numbers from 130 to 100, 135, right? Let's see what happens. Uh, this should be dot dot. So, and then you create a list of lists. And that's not really what you want, because then when you click here, the other list will disappear. So what you can do in this case is you can convert all these different steps of lists into a list. So it will be a, all of them will be a list of lists instead of just one. So now we have three lists of lists. If I click on that, you'll see here. And there is no expand button, but when you convert this to a table and you expand it, you will get the entire list, which is very, very useful, right? Now, another way to do it, in case you cannot generate the list yourself from the beginning, so we start with a blank query. We do our first list, which was 101 to 105 there and then there is a function called list uh, insert range is called and what it does is it inserts numbers or a range of numbers into an existing list beautiful so if i don't know the position i can just write zero here and then i can write the next list that i want to insert which is, I don't know, 110 to 115, we say. And we need to close the function. And then you can see here that they, this is the position where to insert the numbers or the new list. I said zero, which is at the beginning, but if you would like to put it at the end for whatever reason that you need to have it in order, what you can do is you can do list count is done here and then you count this list so you count the number of items in the list which will give you the last number and then you will then you know insert right so you will get them in order beautiful so how do you do now if you want to add more non-consecutive numbers to this existing list well you can actually nest this so you can do, uh, there you do list insert range, and then you say the position. So either you count the number of items on the list, or you say from the beginning, like we did before, and then you do 250 to 255, and then you close. And you can see that it gets added at the beginning. So another way to do this, if you know a little bit of Power Query that is easier to read, is if you get these, and this is if you know Power Query, otherwise I'm not sure if it is easier to read. So let's do a new blank query. I'm going to copy that, the list that we created initially, and then I'm going to add a new step. And the list insert range, is going to be the list that we're going to insert on is going to be source, which is the previous step, the list that we previously created. And then you can do zero, and then you can do uh, 250 to 255, and then it will do the exact same thing. If you would like to put it on the correct order, you just list count source. And then you will put it in the correct order, okay? So, 
yeah, there are tons of ways that you can do things in Power Query, all of them extremely useful, and I hope this was useful for you, and I will see you again in the next video.